Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with a long awaited video. Sorry for the long wait. Uh, my Gmail got hacked this weekend. I should have had this video up Friday, but it got hacked this weekend or this fr past Friday, whatever. Kind of funny. They changed all my passwords and everything, but I tracked down that, I that IP address and everything, got that number, and then, yeah, they ain't want to. They didn't want to, they got kind of scared at that point. So yeah, I'm back up. So now we're going to be back on my regular schedule. So I do apologize for this late video, but hope you guys will enjoy it anyway. But anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how I made this Travis Scott X designer type of beat. And yeah, as you can see, this is not FL Studio. I actually made this beat in Ableton Live, which I am trying out for right now. And so far, I'm actually enjoying and liking Ableton. Um, hopefully, when I get some more, you know, miles in it, I can do, you know, more tutorials in it. Because I think this might be my second DAW of choice like it's a mix between fs studio and studio one to me and i really like that like i'm completely throwing away studio one now i got ableton but i'm still gonna be using fl studio so there will be fs studio tutorials in the future it's still coming so don't worry anyway yeah so here's the beat and i'm sorry this beat uh yeah yeah whatever let's play this garbage ass beat for you guys and let's break it down like always here we go So yeah, as you can hear, like I said, I try to go for that kind of Travis Scott designer. Um, try to get um my my um kind of inspiration for like Mike Dean, um from his style of beats when he produced for a designer like I said Timmy Turner and then most of Travis Scott's um songs. So that's the idea I had when you know I was trying to make this beat, trying to get that kind of Mike Dean type of style, you know, with the kind of analog sound that's more aggressive and simple. So yeah, but let's go ahead and just break it down and you know break down all these fucking parts for you guys because that's what you want to hear because you know you, you don't want to hear me talk. First, I will start off with my first plugin, which is right here. I'm actually using Analog Lab, which I did a review on. If you want to check that out, very dope plugin. Somebody was on there like these sounds are absolutely garbage. No, they're not. They're fucking amazing if you know how to use them. Like I said, if you don't know how to use sounds, then you fucking suck yourself. So, huh? I didn't delete this comment when I said no, they're not. So, yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Anyway, here's Analog Lab. I use a pl uh, preset called Long Way, which I think is in, if you click on the Moog preset, um, it's called Long Way, and this is what it sounds like. Yeah. Play. I'm still getting used to this, so excuse me if it if it's you know if it's fucking bad. If me trying to get around stuff is bad. So that's the first sound right there. It's pretty cool, very simple. It's like more of a pad type thing. I gotta, I'm turning on my MIDI controller. I got two of them now. I actually turn on one in front of me, my mini Moog, because there you go. Doop, boop, boop, boop. So there we go. And then I gotta accept MIDI. So I like it. It's pretty cool. Let me turn off this filter because the filter's fucking up everything. There we go. And my love filter. Well, I want to The thing I like about that sound is the fact that um, goodbye. The sound, the fact that um, you it actually changes over time. Like you can hear it change over time, which is pretty cool. So that's a pretty cool sound. Anyway, besides the point. Next sound right here is a ARP, which I think is from Analog Lab as well. Analog Lab Two, yes, ARP called ARP Three. Weird. Um, and I just I just cut some highs, some lows of it, cause you know why not? But. Mm -hmm. 
I said, I said, had that Mike Dean feel to it. If you click it, I'll show you the the notes. There's the notes for you guys, so you can see all the notes for it. Um, very simple. Let me fold it. Bam! Look at that. They can see exactly what notes I use. Huh? I like that feature. So now you guys can't ask me, Slim, what notes you use for the beat, man? I'm new. There you go. But basically, it's copying the first pattern. So yeah, very simple and cool. Next up is probably this bass right here, which is my favorite. Which actually, this bass I played, I actually recorded through my mini locks. It's actually a mini lock sound that I made. Um, add some distortion and stuff to it. So the sound, can you, can you, can you go away, please? Thank you. Uh, boom. There we go. If you can see, I got it's, I got some decapitator on it, some multiband uh, um, dynamics, which is basically the OTT compressor that I think they made that. Uh, Steve Duda made the OTT compressor, which is actually based off this multiband dynamics right here and I add some vinyl distortion to it to give it a little grit so this is what it sounds like with no effects on it so we'll just turn off all the effects oh yeah it's good and then play the sound by itself so play it right here one two three play like I said, that's all analog you know, because like I say, because Mike Dean, you know, if you, if you listen to his songs, he has that analog feel to it. He used a lot of Moog stuff, which probably going to be getting in the future. But, you know, you don't need all that shit to make good music. So I don't care what nobody tell you. But once I add my effects in there, my distortion, multiband dynamics, and vinyl distortion, you get this. I mean, analog does have a sound to it, but like I said, you don't need analog to make good sounding music, so fuck what anybody say. All right, next up is this lead, also once again from Analog Lab 2. I'll show you just, I see, so just prove you guys that it's a very good plug, and I really like it. It's called the over the, the, the lead. Yeah, that word right there, inner lead, yeah. But it sounds like this. I don't know. I don't know how to play the notes, but anyway, that's what I did. And just go down, 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 like little bell shits. Yeah, really pretty. When you add it with everything else, you know, you get that that nice kind of sexy fucking intro shits. Actually had it muted. Fucking fail. Anyway, that's size point. Next up, the kick, boy. Got to go to that kick. So, um, I use my favorite kick as always. You know me, guys. And, you know, you know. And I did some simple EQ. I really like the, the effects in this thing. It's got some very simple effects. But yeah, I use my decapitator for my distortion and then my virtual mix rack bullshit plate digital. Use the monster, which basically is a parallel compressor. Yeah, it's basically parallel compression. So it's pretty much doing New York style compression or parallel compression, whatever you want to call it, and slamming the fuck out of it. So if we mute it without it, as you can see, do 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 do. Solo, bitch. So yeah, as you can see right here, you know, just a regular kick, as always. I could, I put it in there. I should have used MIDI. I can, I figured out how to use MIDI with it, but I decided to put it in there this way. But yeah, it's easy to do it with MIDI. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a future video, maybe. I don't know. Ask me about it. Uh, yeah, then when I put all my effects on there, you know, you get that. Get that little nice crunch with it. Uh, next up is a snare. Nothing special here, just a snare. Simple snare. I think I added just some EQ, kind of cut the lows and the highs. Keep it simple, man. Don't do all this bullshit that people be telling you. Fuck that. Um, the sonar sound. <laughs> Somebody's like, I like how you do that sonar sound. This is not a sonar. It's actually white noise. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually fucking white noise, which is kind of cool. So. And I actually use the white noise of my mini log to uh, actually do that. But I can show you how to do it in like, a plug in a silent a what VST sonic one god damn it's like buried in fucking shit hey dude oh I gotta make a MIDI track MIDI track silent 
Charlotte. Commence. Booyah. All right, so. We have no sound. Can we get sound? Okay. Failed. Oh, that's why. Uh, go to my mix bus. That would help, wouldn't it? Bruh. Oh. No. <laughs> I had it so low. Stupid me. Anyway, uh, if you want to do like how to do that, I actually use, like I said, I use my mini law to do it. But if you want to do it in here, all you got to do is go turn the noise, turn your high pass filter, and then and that's it. That's all I did. And I raised the resonance up. And it adds a reverb. And then added a no sustain and a little decay. Just a little bit of release. Let's go higher octave. Well, this don't have key tracking with it, which is actually yeah, it do. This have key tracking. If I do, where's the key tracking button? Key track, motherfucker. There's a key tracking button here somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. Boom. There we go. So yeah, if you want to do that kind of sonar sounding snare that, <laughs> or the white noise snare, that's how you do it. Noise, high pass filter, resonance, key tracking. Boom. Sound design, bitches. All right, next up is the 808, which is like, you know, my favorite 808 from Sunlift, the Serum, whatever it's called. You know, 808, um, what is it called? What's the name of that damn thing called? Space Sauce Volume 1. Yeah, purchase on the link below at our website, tblsounds.com. You know, 808 Nebula, little distortion. Use the compressor here. This is going to be a side chain compressor, which is basically side chaining with the kick, as always. Um, I did kind of an aggressive side chain. So, you know, people are like, you don't like your side chain. Well, I don't like you either. So, who gives a fuck? Um, yeah, but it has like a very aggressive side chain to it, as you can hear. Let's see if we can solo it. Da, 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 da. Bam! And can we solo bump? There we go. But I'll do a side chaining video of it, but it's pretty easy. Side chaining here, you just really click side chain. You put it on your compressor and you click side chain. You just pick the audio you want it from and just put the kick and boom, it's side chained, which is fucking amazing like ableton is you know winning points all day long so yeah use the 808 and i did some cool little pitch bends here and there but that's all that's all that's all that's all it'll go away eventually won't it yeah. um that's all with the 808 um choice i use so that 808 is making me do all that voom voom shit that a lot of people didn't like but a lot of people love it so who cares um, then I got three different hi hats going on, and I'm just gonna play them all at once. So you can really hear them, you know, so you can hear the hi hat. So let's show the first one. Hey boy, hello, and then and then I got this one too. And then if we go to my mixer, play. Wait, play. Oh shit. Can we start from here, please? Thank you. Still gotta get used to that. Right here. I got them all panned, you know, left and right, and one in the middle. Just add some dimension. Boy, go on somewhere. There we go. That's how you make the little marker. Hey, I, fit, I did it. Anyway, like I said, I'm still getting used to Ableton, so bear in mind that failed. And then last, we got this little. Omnisphere patch, which I think is a bell. And as you can see, I use MIDI for these audio tracks. Um, the hi hats I use MIDI. I plug them in MIDI. Uh, oh, forgot my ARP. My ARP right here. Another ARP. This is actually made from the mini log as well. I'll solo it. Like I said, I love using my mini log. So. I said, that was actually made in my, my analog sense. So, you know, just trying to show you guys, you know, I like to use my stuff. I don't buy stuff just to be buying it. Or do I? Hmm. Huh. Anyway, next up is the Omnisphere patch, which is pretty cool. It's very simple. I think it is. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Ooh, it's going to take forever to load. Ooh, and 
the wait begins. There we go. Boom. Uh, it's called Frozen Dream Piano or Piano Dream. So we play it. Let's say this gives kind of ambience when it does a little transition right here. Just give a little separation. So we go right. Mouse work. Go ahead, turn up, look right. And then, yeah, then go back to the chorus, which is. Oh yeah, might want to turn on the um, EQ. And I did my little fake love filter because I, you know, love filters only in FL Studio. So here's my fake little love filter and I did some automation with it. As you can see, it just kind of ramps up here and there. Automation, boom, easy to do. So ominous. And then at the beginning, I did the same thing, ramping up with the E, what's that called? EQ. And I added a little glitch effect right here, you know, glitch too. And I did some automation of that as well, but I don't see the automation for it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Boom. See, got the automation right there for it. So same as FL Studio. <laughs> Nothing special there, just pretty much easy. And somebody asked me about a mixer in Ableton, and here it is right here. You just hit the tab button. Tap, 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 tap. And you bring your mixer. And I like it because I already, you know, it's already sequenced and shit. Whatever. Uh, I made my little mix bus right here, as you guys can see. And what I got my mix bus as usual. Actually, it's very simple. I actually got a video about how to how my new way of mastering. So I'll be uploading that next. It'll be the next video. I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow. Don't hold me for that. Uh, it'll be up soon. Just subscribe. Yeah. Help me out. Uh, I got my little EQ, which I was boosting a little bit of lows, which is very much nothing. This is a pretty cool EQ. Um, it's called Air EQ. Yeah, it's good. And then I have this right here, which is the Fat Fit the Pro L, which is giving me that volume, which I think all my stuff is actually turned off. So if I actually turn it on, you actually be able to hear. It. And then, like I said, the brunt, the the master channel, just to kind of watch my headroom. <laughs> Sorry for the ear rape, everybody, but yeah, that's how it is. But yeah, um, very simple beat. Um, people are like, man, that beat's dope, it's crazy, dude. That's very simple. I mean, it's using very minimalistic stuff as usual. Cause like I said, I'm a very simple person. I don't care. Blame me, hate me, you know, unsubscribe me, dislike me, whatever. I don't care. Talk shit. You're gonna do it anyway. That's how you people are. But yeah, very simple beat, very easy to get to. And like I said, I'm trying to do something different and just be, you know, more. I don't know. I don't know. What's the word? I'll think of it later. Anyway. Yeah, very simple beat. As you see, like I said, just a few sounds. Like I say I'm using the Arturia's analog lab, analog, lab, analog lab too for most of the sounds, and it works out pretty good for me, and it sounds really, really good, and I like it. Um, just go to show you that cheap VSTs can definitely make, you know, good stuff if you know how to use them. It has nothing to do with the VST, so you don't need Omnisphere to do that. Like I said, I use one Omnisphere, but the rest is mainly this. And also, of course, my analog gear, which you don't need that either, you know, just kind of, you know, learn how to sound design, which I'll be making more videos about that in the future. So don't want to make the video too long. Kind of like the ramble on like most people in most channels and most YouTubers out there. So that means I hope you guys enjoyed it. Always, you can always leave a comment below and I'll be definitely happy to answer more questions in the comments because you know that's how I do because I'm a real person, not a robot. So please hit that like, subscribe button, blah, blah, blah. Help me out, boy out. Ask any questions and I will be having more videos very soon. I do apologize for the very, very late delay, but you know, like I said, motherfuckers want to hack a boy, you know, but that's just showing me that I'm doing things right and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing regardless of people hate me or not. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed like always. It's your boy Slim, aka Mitch Different, and guess what, motherfuckers? I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.